Day five in the Vendée Globe 24 and the sun is shining right into my nav seat as you can see. Everything is all right. We have Yannick Besterven and Justine just next to us, um, similar speed. You see her through the window here. Curly is still doing okay. I couldn't find the spider since the start. But um, yeah, nice sunny day here. Now we have a couple of days light wind ahead of us. That's a bit strange. I have never seen such a long period of light wind, almost five days. So for now we are in good company, which I always uh, appreciate a lot. Good morning, everyone. What a nice surprise with the tracker update being in third position. And uh, such a calm, uh, calm morning. Let, let me s uh, have some good, good rest. And I had some, some, some quite good deep sleep this morning with some dreams. Sleeping to third, that's, uh, that's, uh, that just sounds like a joke, but it's a nice surprise this morning. All is good this morning. Um, hope you're having a, a good day. Not much to say. Just not much happening. Except this dark stripe <clears throat> that will bring me a little puff in a minute very slow day oh well surprise surprise we got a little bit of wind you see the little wrinkles i don't see anyone on ais i'm alone out here i'm alone but i know you're there so I'm not fully alone. Hi everyone. Happy Saturday. A bit tr tricky strategy, but we will see. There's uh, a bit of dead zone. And all the kind of favorites. Uh, they are all a bit further this way. And we are a bit in the middle, but I believe that it's all going to pan out correctly. Okay, friends at home, miss you. Feeling a little bit alone here today, but Saturday night, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting around these clouds and in some more stable air tomorrow. I feel I'm not that far away from some of the from some of the others, so I hope I see some others on, on AAS later. It is very unstable. You see these clouds. I have such a sleepy face. Oh wow, look at this. Who gets this in the, in the Sunday morning in winter? Look, there's a bird. Can you see it? What's he doing out here all alone? Okay, let's see what the day will bring. What we like is good rest and progress. We're now going to deploy a drifter buoy. This is one of the only ways to get permanent atmospheric pressure measurements because satellites can't measure air pressure. Important for weather forecasting and predictions and climate change monitoring. During the Vendée Globe, eight drifter buoys will deploy, be deployed between 24 north and 19 north. I will say You see, there is no planet B. Maybe someone finds this and send it back to us in five years when the lifespan is over. Okay, let's get this overboard. Okay, cheers. Bye bye. Bring us good measurements. Woo 
that's it for today. Science mission accomplished. Hi guys, good morning from Malizia Sea Explorer. I was sitting here, this is my favorite spot. Uh, the wind is from the left, we're going this way. And right now we have a bit of wind, we have the boat sometimes picks up on, on this swell that we have and gets going uh, and then it looks beautiful to, to feel the power from the foil, to look out here, to have these beautiful two sails. Yeah, I, I woke up with a bit of mindfulness, I kept my eye mask on and I was thinking myself, what, what do I want to turn my attention to now? Because the night, I will tell you about, was not easy. Uh, it's very easy for the mind to draw the attention to the, to the negative things, to the potential risk of getting left behind in the race. I mean, le getting stuck maybe in, in growing doldrums where the others pass just through. And, you know, the mind could be very easily quite negative, to be honest. But I kept the eye mask on a little bit and said, what do I want to look at when I get up? And I wanted to get here to this spot and feel the fresh air and and I um, I was rewarded by the boat accelerating really nicely. It is blue sky. You see the little clouds, they are fantastic. They are not nasty clouds like the one last night. I also kept quite calm in the night. So what happened? I, uh, I was going straight like this. I was even sitting here actually. It was probably 1 a.m and the sails were just flapping for hours. And I was probably sailing three knots um, in different directions. At best, at the worst, I was just spinning. I think most of the fleet have continued on at like 10 to 15 knots, um, where I was going backwards at time and just stopped. And it's a really interesting. I mean, I think we have this culture of being a race sailor and mentally being the race. It, I physically feel it when, I, when I'm better positioned or worse. It's like, it existentially touches me to be good or in the ranking or not, or losing miles or being, gaining miles. But So yes, it is really all about the race, but then there's no point of getting worked up with that too much. If it's, if it's not possible, it's not possible. Uh.